Hello, sweet souls. This is part two. Um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, <clears throat> we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angels, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. I brought you guys outside, but it is humid out here. I'm going to tell you that right now. I had to put my glasses on because I feel blind without my glasses. So, all right. <clears throat> Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. Oh, I don't know if I already did that. I'm tired, guys. I did pray right before, so. Um, but this this reading is going to be uh, a follow-up from part one. We're just going to find out uh, if what you need to be aware of as far as any actions being taken towards you. Uh, for the collective, what do they need to know as far as any actions being taken? Empress energy. High vibrational divine femme energy. Whether you're a man or a woman. You know, there's no gender in tarot, it's energy. We have both masculine and feminine for those that are unaware. What's coming in toward the Empress? Empress energy. What's coming in toward the Empress energy? Well, Empress, it looks like you are manifesting something amazing. You are this Queen of Swords energy. Um, the Queen of Swords operates with honesty, loyalty, integrity. She holds the sword of God's truth. Now, you could be manifesting something to do with communication as well. So if you have an online business, maybe you're manifesting um, and you, you're in communication. You're manifesting you know, an elevation of that. Whatever it is, this is a manifestation that's coming in um, that you have spoken into existence. I just heard that. And it's a wish being granted for you. This is a wish, so I like it. Let's see. What's coming in for the Empress energy? Yeah, this could have to do with a collaboration. This can have to do with a partnership. This can be romantic or this can be love, but we have the King and the Queen of Swords. Someone is gonna match your energy perfectly this is someone that's meant to co-create with you. For those of you that are manifesting love, this is love. For those of you that are manifesting a business partnership, um, a collaboration that is going to usher in success, that's what this is. It's beautiful, whatever it is, whatever it is you're manifesting, it's coming in. Um, yeah, it leads to victory, success, and public recognition. I love it. All right, tell me more, please. Look, five of swords in reverse whatever opposing parties who have been projecting on you they're defeated five of swords in reverse is defeat it can also represent um people being uh yeah blocked from your energy this can be people being humiliated by the words they've spoken this is like to me the five of swords in reverse is having to eat your words having to eat crow five of swords and the upright somebody that wants to win at all costs but they use words to harm because the sword is all about words, thoughts, right? All right. Yeah, things they've been doing in the dark, trying to hide it. All right, tell me more. You're protected, and you've been protected this whole time. That's why they don't understand how things keep progressing for you. It's God's protection over your life. That's why. Yeah, you're still receiving. Six of Pentacles, you are still receiving. God is making sure that you still receive what you deserve. I love it. Yeah, and it's connected to your creative projects. The analogy I used earlier is going to hold true for some of you. You're manifesting a partnership. Now, it could be a romantic partnership that you're manifesting that's going to co-create um, as far as your business, your destiny, what you're meant to create in this life. But I definitely see there's a lot of Pentacles financial resources coming in, you mastering a skill and you having someone that is co-creating with you, helping you. That's beautiful. All right. Happy birthday um, to my Virgos too. Don't forget to check out my Virgo channel, uh, which is the Gifted Dragonfly on YouTube. I post Virgo only readings every day there. So they're normally in the evening. I try to do them earlier, but I have to do them when I'm finished with everything. So, yeah, somebody's heartbroken because you are moving on and making a new investment. 
you're having a victory in your life and somebody is really heartbroken by this. Yeah, but see, all this person's lies and deceit is being exposed. People are seeing exactly what happened, what they did to you. You know, their lies may have stuck for a little while. People may have blamed you. They may have looked at you like you were the horrible person because of this person's lies. Ace of Swords in reverse is lies. But with the Seven of Swords in reverse, this is being exposed for all the lying, cheating, and stealing, all that they did. And if you add the seven and the eight of swords, that's, that's stress, anxiety, mental anguish, but it's in reverse. You're free of this situation. You're completely free of this situation. This is a, an epic backfire is what I feel like. Tell me more, please, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. You guys, <laughs> this is awesome. Not only um, do you have a lot of financial growth here, but I see, again, multiple wishes are coming in with a divine partner. We have King and Queen of Wands. Both of you will be very passionate for each other and for what it is you're meant to create. This is great news for you because this is a part of your justice uh, for what you went through. I love it. Let's get a couple more from this deck. What does the collective need to be aware of? Wow. They're, they're saying you are this earth angel. Peace and harmony is being restored because you chose to do something alone and independent. You chose to heal. If you hear my belly's growling, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, this is why you're being elevated. You took your power back and you did the work. Uh, you said, you know what? Despite people trying to oppose you and destroy you and lie about you, you didn't defend yourself. You stayed private. You focused on your healing. You focused on creating whatever God was inspiring you to create. And now you're being blessed for this. This is a reward on so many different levels. You chose love. Choosing love, you will always win in every aspect of your life. Yes, you're going to have hardships like we all do. But when you choose love, you will always win. You will always win. Yeah, look at this. You're this high priestess energy. You're very spiritually gifted and God protects you because you remained in this loving energy. You didn't do harm to anyone. You didn't try to do harm to anyone, regardless of people trying to harm you. You didn't. You just stayed in this loving energy. This is why um, you are being permitted passage, moving on energetically and having this peaceful life. The spiritual realm is doing this for you. It's amazing. Yeah, you let things die off that didn't serve you. You went through a huge transformation. That's beautiful. I love this reading. All right. So what I'm seeing here is, you know, whoever has been going around trying to spread lies and trying to destroy you, they're being defeated. You're calling in um, someone that's meant to co-create with you, that is aligned with you. Um, this is bringing in multiple blesses, blessings, uh, multiple wishes coming in, career, finance, love, peace, harmony. It's beautiful. You know what? Let me get some from this deck and just get some signs out of this deck and uh, see what comes out. If you or your person, past person or whoever doesn't come out, it doesn't mean the reading's not for you. It just means someone needed extra validation. So let's just see what signs are involved. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What signs are involved? Okay. We have Capricorn. We have Libra. We have Cancer. We have Taurus. We have Scorpio. And we have Virgo. The bottom is Sagittarius. All right. Now, let me just get 
let me get some letters and signs from this deck. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Who is this reading about, please? Cancer, Virgo, I A G K H X Scorpio Z J that Z comes out all the time Capricorn Aries M B Leo Yeah somebody <laughs> Somebody likes to gab. Somebody was spreading a lot of lies and rumors. Somebody could be from Arkansas. Somebody tried to take a jab at you. of words today it's not coming to me today bam <laughs> bam karma hits bam out of nowhere <laughs> ham I don't know why ham's sticking out maybe somebody thinks thought they were funny they thought they were ham they thought it was funny that didn't work and when H HX came out I heard hex somebody could have tried to pay for a hex doesn't work I could be having GI issues as well, gastrointestinal issues, um, because I did see GI there. Yeah, uh, Instagram could be significant as, as well. What do they need to know? What do they need to know, Holy Spirit? Keep going. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you have already won. You are receiving messages, so pay attention to your thoughts. An opportunity to relocate is coming, and you are a healer. Positive affirmations are needed. Stay in your high vibration. Keep staying, saying positive things to yourself, okay? Let's see, let's get some of this deck real quick. What's coming in for the collective? What do they need to know? What actions are being taken toward the collective? The Empress again, guys. We started with the Empress in the other deck. There goes my man on his motorcycle. Um, what's coming in for the collective? A wish being granted. A very grounded, stable partner, King of Pentacles, and a star. This is almost similar to the last deck. You guys, a wish is being granted. Wow. Double confirmation. And you do have jealous haters out here and that's okay that's the way it is you know you know you're doing something right when you got people out here jealous you know we don't do it we don't live our life to injure or harm anyone else if they choose to be in the energy of jealousy that's on them yeah this is someone that's jealous that they didn't take any action towards you they're a player knight of feathers they're a player and they didn't take any action towards you. Yeah. And you're in your full power. You have strength. You have courage. You have perseverance. And the truth's being exposed. Truth's coming to light. That came out on the last spread. This person's lies are being exposed. They're being demasked. And you have a new beginning. A wish being granted. Yeah, the blockage for them is they're feeling like they missed an opportunity. They made the wrong decision. But the cycle's closed. You're moving on to victory. You're not investing in this energy.
you know, I do see this King of Swords that came out in the first spread. Someone coming in with honesty, loyalty, and integrity. This person is coming in very quickly. This can be a lot of communication coming in. Um, but this is a stable offer. This person is meant to work with you. Healing. This is healing energy. Whether you're meant to collaborate together to help heal others, heal humanity, or this is healing your heart. This person, I definitely feel, will renew your hope and faith and love. What's coming in for the collective? And somebody's stressed out in mental torment because of it. Nine of Swords is somebody that's being haunted. They're being haunted by their own actions towards you. Yeah, so somebody that could be going through an awakening right now. Or they could be haunted because of your awakening. Yeah, this is someone that's in confusion and illusion. This is someone that they're very delusional. Whoops. What is that? Oh, I gotta get it. Hold on, guys. Yeah, see, they're delusional is because you're having this passionate new beginning, Ace of Wands. This is a gift and blessing from God. Things are aligning for you. There's just, you're following your passion, moving on, following your passion. You could be traveling, you could be relocating, but you are goal oriented. You're focused on what God's inspiring you to create, what you're passionate about, which is beautiful. Yeah, and someone, someone was never accountable for the things they did to you, and now this is why they're trapped in their mind tormented by the memory of what they've done all the lies they told and so you know you're not focused on this you're focused you know on your passions what god's creating you or calling you to create this person is made an investment they're trapped stuck overthinking and trapped in the situation going through deception and betrayal the ten of swords so that came out in the last deck too and so it's this double confirmation here yeah, this person is the same person that's blocked from your energy to a swords. This person can't see the forest for the trees. They can't self-reflect and recognize that it's their own energy that has created the situation. The horrible things that they have done to others, including you. Hold on. Yeah, this is an emotional manipulator. Can't cups in reverse. You, on the other hand, are building generational wealth. Ten of Pentacles. This is the spiritual realm guiding you toward this legacy that builds generational wealth. That's amazing. Yeah, victory, success, public recognition, all tied into your creative projects. Eight of Pentacles. What God is calling you to create. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. And you're not meant to do it alone. You're meant to do it with a partner. A partner that is perfectly aligned that's bringing in multiple wishes for you wow ten of cups that's amazing this is definitely a blessing because you were so perseverant and you didn't give up you didn't give up on yourself you didn't give up on your faith and God is definitely rewarding you which is absolutely beautiful because you deserve it you've been through enough and you've taken your power back you're not affected by people because you choose uh, to stay in a peaceful, loving energy. You know, if people want to talk about you, you're like, have at it. I'm, I'm fine with that. But I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to celebrate the energy that I'm in. I'm not going to focus and waste my life focusing on other people. I'm going to focus on myself. How I can help others. How I can contribute to humanity in some way. What else do they need to know? Yeah, these are very toxic low vibrational people with the devil you know the devil uses other people in low vibration to try to get to you why because you're meant to co-create with with the divine with god you have a big purpose so of course these people your light is irritating their demons of course that's how it works yeah five of wands they're jealous because of the calling over your life they don't realize why they're jealous the enemy is manipulating them but you know what they have free will they can choose not to worry you are 
in your full power. You're so strong and the spiritual realm is definitely protecting you. So you have nothing to worry. Yeah, Empress. This is like the Empress reading. <laughs> Whether you're a man or a woman, guys, you're, you could still be an Empress. Yeah, and you know what fell over the devil? The Ten of Swords. That's what's happening for this do these toxic, low vibrational people. Confirmation, every deck. They're going to go through the Ten of Swords. Horrible pain and betrayal because that's what they did against the Empress. Yeah, they, they were spreading lies, gossiping, stalking. They were doing all this heinous stuff. And so you're being blessed with a passionate new beginning. Again, Ace of Wands. And they're paying the consequences for their actions. Four of Wands. This is a marriage, a long-term commitment. This is stability. Wow, wow, and wow. <sighs> yeah, then we can see bad news for whoever has tried to compete with you, cause road roadblocks in your life, um, spread lies. This is the player energy, nine of wands. Bad news is coming. This person could have an illness. They could calm down uh, with some sort of illness. This can be exhaustion. Two of Pentacles, this could be a financial imbalance, mental imbalance. This person um, is definitely going to pay the consequences for all of the lies and slander. Everything that they did, Knight of Swords in reverse, uh, to oppose you. Someone that had to be in the Wounded Warrior energy and fight, fight their way through everything. Unnecessary blockages. It wasn't even necessary for this person to do this. This person, yeah, that they're going to be in regret. They're going to be in regret. Yeah, you know, this person's going to be in regret for the investment they made. They're still trying to hold on to your energy, but you, that connection is gone. You know, Seven of Pentacles, you're focused on manifesting, planting new seeds, moving forward. You're not focused on this energy. Yeah, and you have new opportunities, Ace of Pentacles. Again, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Eight of Pentacles. It's tied into your career and finance, and you will receive what you deserve. So... All right, guys, this is your second reading. We'll go into, um, I'll do the third reading on uh, what's coming in for you. We'll do the wisdom of the oracle. Uh, what what other advice we can get as far as what's coming in. Could be career, could be love. Um, but this was a pretty amazing reading. I love it. You guys are doing an amazing job. I hope that you have a blessed day. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading or meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find out all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. All right, guys, see you on the next one. I love you. Bye-bye.